Sister Fisa spoke yesterday. This is her other dog. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika lah, la hamulku la hulhum wa huwa ala kul shayin kudir. Assalamu alaikum. I'm calling, I'm here today, I'm so excited looking at, first of all, my mom and my family, I haven't seen them. And this is like a family reunion. Everybody here I went to school with mostly, I'm like seeing moms, teachers, <laughs> classmates, it's amazing. Um, my mother, Sister Zeli Omar, has been in the uh, Muslim community since 1959. So she's 54 years in the community, mashallah. And I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day for blessing us, for her to make the conscious de decision to become Muslim. Because my life, and like the brother said, our names and the living the life of a Muslim following the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, has opened so many doors. In my life, um, my mom has shown us by example, service, education. And mashallah, I've been blessed to volunteer at the homeless shelter in California on Skid Row for 15 years, doing hair for the homeless women, uh, tutoring the homeless youth. And one of the young girls I tutored, Khadija, actually got a four-year scholarship to Harvard University, and this is her last year. She was on Oprah Winfrey show. There's so many amazing youth there that are coming up, and inshallah, they'll be getting scholarships to universities as well. But like I'm saying, my mom was an example, and I'm so thankful to have her in our life, to bless us in our life, to see that example, because there's so many youth that are lost in the streets, that are being caught up in the new Jim Crow law, that are getting locked up in prison for simple things, just because they didn't have a mom there, or a father there, or the parents on drugs or prostitution or whatever the case may be. Maybe they didn't have a parent there themselves to show them the way. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us so much for having Islam, the leadership of Elijah Muhammad first of all, and have his son, Imam Murthy Muhammad, the family, the Ummah. Our, our, what? You get in trouble? You get in trouble by every single person growing up. <laughs> Back in the day it wasn't like you just give Every single person, just Ummah, just Ummah, just Ummah, all the way home. <laughs> And it's a blessing because it taught us strength and it taught us integrity and it's just amazing. But most importantly, I just want to, I came here to bask in the light of my mother. <laughs> she's so beautiful and she's so, she, she, she just always did everything. Like, you know, in the community, work, she walked the walk, you know. A lot of people talk, but she walked the walk. <laughs> I call her up, she's like, I'm in Chicago, I'm in New Jersey, I'm in Florida, I'm in Alabama, doing the, 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 on, that, on that dean, you know, doing the dawah. And I'm like, wow, my, every time, that's all she does. Uh, Imam Muhammad, Allah, Allah, you know, that's her drive. Alhamdulillah. So, I just want to bask in the beauty of my mom, because I'm so thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he blessed us to have her as a mother. And my father, um, Brother Henry Omar, May Allah be pleased with him and grant him paradise. With the Omar analogy, you would always say, that's my backbone, that's my backbone. My mother would have it together. So, also I, I was want, want to mention my grandmother always said that too. Zeli, my, mom, my grandmother was Catholic, but my mother made that conscious decision to become a Muslim and she always said it. My Zelly, she's the backbone. She's my backbone. She used to always tell me that. And I gave a tape to her today. She didn't know I surprised her and let her listen to a tape that she had sent to me complimenting her daughter, sister, my mom, Sister Zelly Omar, Sister Haja, Queen Sister Haja, Zelly Omar. <laughs> but I want to 